Dear audience, welcome to NewsFest at this, your daily source of news bites, locally, regionally, and internationally. Today's news, I am Mirongita Tro, stay with us. In the first news, union working on improving refugee lives and protecting rights. Efforts are being exerted to improve the lives of refugees living outside their country and protect their rights, say the Horn of Africa Confederal Trade Unions. The Horn of Africa Confederal Trade Unions President Kasahun Tholo said that the Horn of Africa Confederal Trade Unions has been signing an agreement with trade unions in the Middle East to ensure the lives of refugees living abroad and protect their rights. Since the majority of refugees who have migrated to the Middle East are from Igad member countries, they are working to ensure the rights of workers in receiving countries. Kassan said that the agreement between the countries that receive and send refugees is included in the Djibouti agreement. According to the agreement, each country will make a separate pact with the countries of the Middle East. However, the Djibouti agreement serves as a guideline for common practice. This directive applies to all EGAD member countries and it will play an important role in upholding the rights of workers. In addition, there are activities to ensure the rights of the worker by signing with the labor unions of the host countries outside governments. The Horn of Africa Confederal Trade Unions has signed agreements with the Arab Confederation of Trade Unions. It also works to make the labor unions of each country sign accords. He stated that Ethiopia and Kenya have started. In order to respect rights of workers abroad, activities have been organized to connect workers with the labor union of the country where they are located. This is to ensure that workers are paid fairly for the work they do, and this will ensure their rights. However, there is a difficult situation in some countries. Due to the lack of a trade union, Ethiopia is working to protect the rights of its citizens by signing an agreement with Kuwait and it will sign similar agreements with other Middle East countries in the future, he added. There is no citizen who wants to leave the country and immigrate if she or he can get a salary that considers their living country. Migration can be controlled by creating jobs by which the dignity of workers is respected. For workers who have have also the necessary things in the country, but who are leaving the country to find a better job. It is necessary to provide them with training before they leave. The president said that the agreement includes job creation in a God member countries, as unemployment is high in the Horn of Africa. We will pass to the international news. China warns U.S. of potential for conflict and confrontation. In his first press conference as China's top diplomat, Chen Gang said U.S. policies risk conflict and confrontation with Beijing. From the spy balloon sped to Russia's war in Ukraine, Chen outlined where China stands. Chinese Foreign Minister Chen Gang has cautioned the United States over its approach to Taiwan, saying on Tuesday that no country has a right to interfere in what China regards as domestic affairs. During his first press conference since becoming China's top diplomat, Chen outlined China's foreign policy step, especially focusing on the United States, Taiwan, Russia and the war in Ukraine. What did he say about Taiwan? Speaking on the sidelines of annual National People's Congress in Beijing, Chen said the issue of Taiwan and Washington's one-China policy as the basis of all relation between the two global powers. He said no other country had the right to interfere in Taiwan's issue, calling it a red line that Washington must not cross. Chen added that China reserves the option to take measures that it deems necessary to achieve reunification with Taiwan. Under the One China policy, the U.S. recognized Beijing and also acknowledged China's position that Taiwan is a part of the country. A number of U.S. lawmakers targeted Beijing's air by voting the self-ruled territory last year. How is China responding to tensions with the U.S.? Chin addressed China's increasingly tense relation with the United States saying Washington was to blame for the downward spiral and the foreign minister said the U.S. policy towards China has deviated from the rational Sandra. He said the recent U.S. decision to shoot down a suspected Chinese spy balloon created a diplomatic crisis that could have been avoided. China said the aircraft was used for weather research. If Washington does not change its course, there will surely be conflict and confrontation, Kyun said. Prior to taking the post of foreign minister, 
Chen interviewed as China's ambassador to the U.S. What was the position on the war in Ukraine? While Chen argued for peace talks and diplomatic resolution to Russia's war on Ukraine, he also appeared to claim some countries had a hidden agenda behind the conflict. An invisible head has been using the Ukraine crisis to serve certain geopolitical agendas, he said. In recent position, paper on China's stance on the war, Beijing called for dialogue but did not propose new initiatives for peace talks. While Russia has grown from Further and further isolated on the international stage, its ties with China have been growing. According to Qin, China believes any peace talk must respect the legitimate security concerns of all parties. He also appeared to urge countries to soften punitive measures towards Russia saying sanctions and pressure will not solve the problem. In the years since the war erupted, China has not yet condemned Russia's move to launch a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Germany and other Western countries are increasingly concerned that China could send weapons and other supplies to ammunition strapped Russia. Those were our news for the day. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.